Welcome. In previous videos we learned about different data types and operators in Python language. In this video, we'll learn about conditional statements. Conditional statements perform as different computation or actions depending on whether a programmer specified boolean condition evaluates to true or false. That means, it controls flow of execution of your program based on some condition. Python use if, il if and else keyword to control the execution of of code. If statement consists of if keyword followed by boolean value, which can be true or false. If boolean value is true, statements present in code block will be executed. Python uses indentation instead of curly braces. Indentation here means tabbing the statements left or right, by one tab, or four spaces. Statements inside if code block, needs to be tabbed once on right side compared to if keyword. All the statements inside same code block, should have same level of indentation, or indentation error will occur. Let's see some example. Here we pass boolean value, true, with if keyword, so, print statements will always execute. Also notice all the print statements are tabbed on right side, compared to if keyword, and all the three print statements have same level of indentation. Let's execute the code. Output is as expected, it executes all three statements inside the code block. Now here is somewhat more practical example. We take one integer variable, a, with value 10. Then we will use equal to, comparison operator, to equate its value. We'll also print the boolean value which we are passing with if statement. If is equal to 10, print, value of a is 10, statement will execute. When we execute the code, first value printed is, true. It is the boolean value which we pass with if keyword. It is printed because of the print statement present just above if statement. Then, as a variable's value is 10, print statement, inside the if code block is executed. In next example we use else keyword. If statement condition is false, that means, boolean value after if keyword is false, statements under else code block will be executed. We take a variable a, with value 10. We check if a's value is 20 or not. If it is, we print, value of a is 20, and if not, we print, value of a is not 20. As value of a is not equal to 20, value of a is not 20 gets printed. Code under else is executed, if none of the condition, passed in if, or if statement is evaluated as true. Statements under else part, also needs to be tabbed right compared to else keyword, and all statements should have same level of indentation. Let's see another example, where we use logical operator, and, to combine two boolean values. First we print value returned by an operator, if we pass both true operand. Then we print the value returned by and, if we pass one false operand. Then we use an operator to check, if value of a is between 0 and 20 or not. We will also use more than and less than operator. We pass the expression, a more than 0 and a less than 20, with if statement. If that expression evaluates as true, print, a is between 0 and 20 statement will be executed, or else print, a is not between 0 and 20 will be executed. After executing, first value printed is true, as an operator return true if and only if, both the operand is true. Then false is printed, because an operator will return false, if even one value is false. Then, value of variable a is 10, so a more than 0 is true and a less than 20 is also true. We pass both true boolean values as operand to an operator, which will return true, and so our expression will be evaluated as true. So print, a is between 0 and 20 will be printed if statement is used to check multiple conditions. If any one condition passed with if or if keyword, is true, further condition checking will not take place. Statements inside if code block is also tabbed. In this example, we first assign variable a, value 19. Then in first if statement, we check if value of a is 17 or not. If it is, the will print, a is 17, if not, We'll check next condition in if statement. Next, we'll check if value of a is 18 or not, if it is, 
print, AA is 18 will be executed, if not, further conditions will be checked. Ill if conditions A equal to 19 and, A equal to 20, will be checked if any condition before current condition, is not true. If all the conditions gets evaluated as false, else part of the code will execute. Output will be, AA is 19. Condition AA equal to 17 is false, so that part of code will not be executed. Then, condition AA equal to 18 is also false, so that part will also not execute. Condition AA equal to 19 is true, so statement, AA is 19, will be printed. Further checking of conditions will not take place. In next example we'll use membership operators, in, and not in, which returns boolean value, with if statement. First we'll assign variable L, a list with values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45, 6 and 78. Then check, if 10 is in L or not, using in operator. If it is print, 10 is in list, else print, 10 is not in list. Next we'll use same, in operator to check if 3 is in list or not, if it is, print, 3 in list, else print, 3 not in list. Then, we'll use, not in operator to check if 78 is in list or not. If it's not, print, 78 not in list. Else print, 78 is in list. Its output will be, 10 is in list, 3 in list, and 78 is in list.